Welcome back to my channel. You know, today is not a cool day. It's not a hot day either. But I suddenly want to have spring roll. How about you? Do you love spring roll? Do you love cheese? If yes, please follow me until the end of this video because I gonna bring you a super simple dish that takes about 15 to 20 minutes to repair. It's super yummy. It's called super cheesy spring roll. So to make the super cheesy spring roll today, what do we need to have? Let's have a look. Uh, we definitely need spring roll parsley leaves that you can buy in any supermarket and you can put it in the freezer until you need it. And just remember to take this out from the freezer 20 minutes before you making the spring roll. So it will be easier for you to make the roll. We have the instruction at the back. So just if you forgot, just follow the instruction over here. And we also need mozzarella cheese ball. I use this one and after that I will chop it into strips. But if you can find something already chopped, it's also good as well. And we need an egg. It works like a glue. It will hold the egg of the pastry. You will understand more when I show you later on in the video. And of course, we need oil. A lot of oil. Uh, because we're gonna do deep fry today to make the spring roll super crispy. Don't worry that we're gonna leave uh, a lot of oil after using it for today because you can totally reuse it. Normally, I will put it back to the bottle and reuse one or two times after that. So it's not a waste at all. First of all, we're gonna cut the mozzarella cheese into strips. Can you see over here? I make them about uh, one centimeter thick. Depend on uh, how much you love to have cheese in the spring roll, you can make it thicker or thinner. It's totally up to you. So for one mozzarella cheese bone, after cut them off, we can make about 12 to 13 spring rolls. Start from the corner and keep going slowly hey ta -da. put the cheese in the middle and then macaron okay wash at the edge so egg wash like I mentioned it will work like a glue it will hold the edge and the spring run together After 10 minutes rolling the spring roll, now I have about 12 spring roll with me ready for deep fry. What are we waiting for? Let's do it! 
So we have here the saucepan and we will turn on the fire. When the saucepan a little bit hot, we we'll put in the oil. A lot. For deep fry, like I said, we need to use a lot of oil. I use here with me 750 ml. You can use more if you like. The idea is just to make the spring roll fully covered by the oil. So in the end, it will be super crispy. I can see a little bit of bubbles at the bottom coming up. So we can put on the spring roll into the oil now. I have 12 spring roll in total, so I put 6 at a time. So when uh, the spring roll is ready, we will put the spring roll into the towel and the towel will absorb all the excess oil so we don't eat a lot of oil in the end. Can you see a little bit of cheese popping out of the spring roll? But it's okay. It actually has the spring roll look yummier. Ta-da! Finally, we're done. Have a look what we have now. So we have spring roll, 12 spring roll, and we also have with us, uh, this is cheese popping out from the spring roll when we do deep fry. And you can fry it at the bottom of the pot. It's tasty and crispy, super crispy. So don't waste it, enjoy it together with the spring roll. I'm sure you will love it. Now let me show you how the spring roll look from inside. Grab one. You feel it? You hear that? Super crispy. Wow, look at that. Can you hear that? Let me try. Mm. Mm. For this super cheesy spring roll, the best way to enjoy it is when it's still hot. You can sprinkle a little bit of salt on top or you can use it with chili sauce. I have here with me Vietnamese chili sauce that you can find in Vietnamese shops in Bangstown, Capramata or in supermarket like Woolworths or Coles. I found this one in Woolworths. Uh, this is very special chili sauce that gives significant taste that you cannot find in any other chili sauce. I highly recommend you to try this one. Another option is Thai sweet chili sauce. This is my favorite brand of sweet chili sauce. You can enjoy this just like me if you like a little bit of sweet flavor. Finally, we finished the cooking step. Now it's time to enjoy the super cheesy spring roll. Let's eat together.
Let's try the second spring roll with Vietnamese chili sauce. Vietnamese chili sauce. Dip it in. Vietnamese chili sauce gives you very significant taste. You can feel a little bit of salty and uh, you can feel a little bit of garlic flavor inside. And in general, it's spicy. It's spicy for me. And uh, in the end, you feel a little bit of sour flavor in the So in general, it is perfect for sweet roll. A small reminder for you please enjoy this one when it's too hot as it gets cooler it's become harder that's all for today and i think i'm gonna stop the video here if you like the video please